Why is it that lately, even mornings sing lullabies? Empathy is a wrecked train. Our system, a broken compass. We now see life through the lens of a cracked glass. Funny, we expect our children to learn morals they can't see. So maybe it's just the pain of the world's growing malevolence. The health of our mind is low, so now our emotions follow suit. We want to be in the past but still live in the present. So is it the hate I project or the love that I strangle that is weighing me down? It's a screwed world. Sometimes no one knows the way. We are all in a web of the unknown or at least the few introspectionists fumble to spot the light. But with screens, darkness is not our fear anymore. It is too much light that is blinding, too much knowledge. You don't need to ask anyone anything when Google has it all. Too much love for I that not many see we. Too much money that many have none. It is said that too much of something is poisonous. Then how comes we are all in the pursuit of more? We lost track and forgot there is no finish line if our race is for the chase of happiness. Maybe the inventor of language should have put fighter as the second name to human because we lost track and forgot that there's no finish line if our race is for the chase of happiness. The inventor of language should have put fighters the second name to human because we lost track. And now there are too many wars to fight. There is a mismatch between what is and what should be. We got afraid of real and created a, a new world. We can now laugh artificially through screens while our inner selves scream for attention. That's already deaf. Each family member is connected to a wall and you wonder why they are not in touch too many broken homes and you start asking why the people in them are all in pieces. Addiction is now a cliche word. Depression for every sad mood misused. We've gone to the farthest horizons to run away, seek pleasure, see websites, hide from the sun so as to remain soaked in our tears, blindfolds all not to face our fears, no face to face when we can face time. We're afraid of rejection, so we don't speak our mind. We evade a know of truth Taking up a yes that's too heavy a load, afraid of conversations. So, no debts, just chats. No intimacy, just self draining pleasure. But who wants to speak about it? All of us have taken a back seat. So, of course, we won't face the truth. And maybe we are all lying. That's why we can hardly stand reality. Who will redeem a lost world?